Welcome to Adventures in Geocaching with your host, You Got a Friend in PA. All right, I'm south of Trombowersville. I got to a open, preserved open space. I'm at the parking lot down here with the motorcycle. It was a beautiful ride. And now we're going to go for a three stage multi cache. That's a regular three and a half difficulty three terrain. Now let's make our way to ground zero for stage number one. Found stage one. Just a little piece of metal here. Took me a little bit to find it. I would say this is definitely a three and a half difficulty. The train wasn't that bad though, so I'm assuming it's gonna get worse. But just a little piece of metal. So now let's show you ground zero. Okay, in the video that you're looking at, ground zero is here. Location number one, is this piece of metal at this part of the gate like you see here? Location number two, is this piece of metal on this top of the wooden pole like you see here? Location number three, is this metal plate on the hinge side of the gate like you see here? Location number four, is this metal plate sticking out of the log, like you see here. Stage one to this multi-cache. You've seen ground zero, four, and then you've seen four possible locations. Let's eliminate three to get to the final. Here we go. Location number two is wrong. That can go. Location number one is wrong. That one can go. And location number three is wrong. Location number four is ground zero. It's where stage one is hidden. Now, let's go back out and find stage two. Okay, if you pick location number four, you're correct. Believe it or not, this is not on the gate. You come up the side of the road, and this little piece of metal is sticking out of the log like that. Very, very tricky to find. But I made the find. I got the coordinates plugged into the GPS. We're going to stage number two next. Okay. Stage number two has been found. I touched it many a times. Thought it was garbage. I was actually ready to throw it in my bag to carry it out to Ducito. Turns out, this is the container. You're saying how? There's no paper inside. Inside the lid, behind the lid, you have the coordinates that are written. Yeah, they're on the inside of the lid. But you can't see them because you have to pull a piece of plastic off. Let me show you. All right, inside here, there's a little plastic cover. You pull it off and the coordinates are underneath. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna show you the coordinates and then have you know where the final is in case you do find it. But that's where it is, inside the cap. So now if you come here and if you can find it, now you know what stage two looks like. Now to show you ground zero. In the video frame that you are watching, ground zero is here. Now for your Geosense challenge. Location number one is this container between the rock and the tree covered by the geo pile, like you see here. Location number two is this container in the stump behind the rotten piece of wood. Location number three is the container just sitting in a hole in this tree. Location number four is this container sitting on top of the large rock underneath the leaves. Stage two of this multicache. You seen ground zero? I showed you four locations. 
bring them back one more time take a look now it's time to eliminate ready location three is not the correct location location two is not the correct location and location four is not the correct location location number one is the correct location for ground zero on where this cache is hidden for stage two now let's go back out and find stage number three okay so when you come up to ground zero you're gonna have this large rock here that has a v in it that a tree's growing in Our location number one was the right one pull the bark out here put the bottle behind the tree cover it with bark and you're good to go off to stage number three the final made the find and as a regular usually is it's an ammo can this one was the three and a half difficulty three terrain now let's show you ground zero in the video frame that you are looking at ground zero is in it here comes your geosense challenge for today location number one is this ammo can under this rock covered with leaves location number two is this ammo can under the rock under this tree like you see here location number three is this ammo can next to this rock covered by a geophile location number four is this ammo can under this rock like you see here Stage three of this multicast. You got to see what ground zero looks like. You got to see four locations of where it could possibly be hidden. Bring them back one more time. Give you a look. And now it's time to eliminate the wrong ones to find the right one. Here we go. Location number four. Wrong. That is not where it is. Location number one, also wrong. That is not where it is. Location number three, also wrong. That is not where this geocache is. Location number two is where the final container is hidden. When you come out and do the multi, now you know. Let's go back out and wrap the video up. Okay, location number two. This ammo can is under this big rock, under the base of this tree, tucked in here very nicely. Put the ammo can in, you take all the leaves, and you cover it up. It's that simple. The reason why it's a three and a half difficulty it's because you have rocks and crevices everywhere. I mean, look at all the rocks and everything, all the down trees, all the wood, everything. And of course, you're under the leaves of the trees and your GPS just bounces you around in a circle. But we found it. This three-stage multi is done. And now it's time to get back to the motorcycle to get to a gas station because it needs a drink and so do I. Wasn't too bad of a walk. Searching took a while at each stage. But give yourself about three hours if you know which cache this is, then you can come find it too. I will see you on the next Geosense Challenge. Happy trails, happy caching, and go get yourself a smiley.